Hey, hey, everybody. It's Review Revolution back at you again with a, yes, indeed, Triple Feature Friday. Yes, Triple Feature Friday. Why the special occasion? Why the extra feature for Friday? Well, in case any of you have been hit with uh, some short-term amnesia or just been living under a rock for the past couple of weeks, you'll probably know that the SDCC, the San Diego Comic Con, is upon us. I didn't get to go. As much as I wanted to, I didn't. Next year. Next year. But uh, considering that uh, uh, I'm, I'm not getting to enjoy all the great sights of, uh, of this year's uh, San Diego Comic Con, I thought at the very least this was a good Friday to go back and, uh, and uh, have a look at one of the more fun or one of the San Diego Comic Con exclusive figures I, I actually enjoyed. I thought it was pretty cool. I wasn't there to pick it up myself as much as I wish I could have. But uh, as you can see, it is the 2007 San Diego Comic Con She Hulk by Hasbro. Of course, you can tell by the She Hulk box and the wonderfully uh, rendered picture of She Hulk. It's a shame uh, Mattel doesn't take this uh, doesn't take this uh, uh, line with the Masters of the Universe. I mean, that would be great having a portrait of the character printed on the shipping box. That would be cool. <laughs> but no, this was a one shot deal for Hasbro for their Marvel Legends. Really, not much to it. It's a really, really beautiful box. This is a, the box itself is worth keeping. It's a beautiful, beautiful thing to have. But even more impressive is on the back, which you can see I've already opened up the, the, the seal here. When you open it up, we do have the Marvel Legends logo with a rather familiar picture of the She-Hulk. Climbing the steps of the courthouse. Inside, we've got the San Diego Comic Con logo box. She Hulk inside. Another picture of that portrait. And the wonderful Mar Marvel Legends logo that I love so much. Beautiful, beautiful, beautiful box. Uh, not, partic not a part of any particular wave or anything like that. So, yet another picture of She Hulk on the side. Again, there's the one that we saw a moment ago. The box does actually open up, kind of like a book. Now, it would have been nice if it was the entire frame, but it opens up here in the corner, revealing panels of the She-Hulk, very much like the, uh, oh, and another Marvel Legends logo there, very much like the uh, carded figures. And inside... Get a look at her in her Fantastic Four uh, digs. Very, very nice. On the back, we actually see She-Hulk in her two forms that we get her in. Uh, her business suit and the Fantastic Four. Her stats, uh, height 6'7", weight 650 pounds, real name Jennifer Walters, identity public, alias is the Jade Giantess. Uh, affiliation, formerly the Fantastic Four, power, superhuman strength, endurance, and resistance to injury. The write-up, which is different from that on the uh, on the Marvel Legends version, high-powered superhero attorney Jennifer Walters hasn't always been a solo act. During one of Ben Grimm Grimm's extended absences from the Fantastic Four, she filled in as the Fantastic Families as the first family, ooh, heavy hitter, as part of the Gang of Four. Uh, she split her time between serving as legal counsel to her teammates and many of New York's other heroes. Uh, oh, <laughs> uh, serving as legal counsel to her teammates and many of New York's other heroes in trading blows with the, li with the likes of Doctor Doom and Terminus. She served with distinction as the longest term replacement for any member of the, the Fantastic Four and remains friends with all of them to this day. Her first duty, however, has always been to justice. Even during this busy time, she keeps up her legal practices and maintains her qualifications and appearance and has appeared in court as often as possible 
when she wasn't captured by the Beyonder or crushing Doombots in Liberia. Hmm. Sorry, I could have read that better. But there is a very, very nice pictures of the figure. I don't really have a lot of time, so we're going to go ahead, pop her out of the pack, get a look at her, and have some fun. Be right back. All right, everybody, welcome back. Thanks for sticking around. That took a lot longer than I expected, so let's jump right into things. I brought out the uh, She-Hulk from the uh, Blob series, Marvel Legends, just to illustrate that this is the exact same mold. I'm not going to spend... Whoops. Ooh, not right. I'm not going to spend a lot of time on the articulation because it's exactly the same. Exactly the same in the entire body. Entirely. <laughs> very, very nice. All the changes except in the face, which you can see the She-Hulk version is much more, uh, much more, uh, uh, I guess, playful, smiling, looking nice. The Jennifer Walters attorney at law face here, much more serious. But the repaint that they did it's actually really good. I love the blue. I love the white. I just like this kind of classic Fantastic Four look. It's really, really beautiful. Really, really nice. Uh, they did kind of cheat a little bit, whereas the the gloves are just painted up on her forearms. There's no extra sculpt. Uh, they also cheated on the gloves that the hands, it's the same hand. So when you look close, you can see where the glove actually stopped and where her finger should actually be. At some point, I may repaint that back on. If I can find a green that I like that matches, I may repaint that. But really, really nice. Even the shoes are exactly the same. The face is a new sculpt, which has a lot more range of movement because she has the ponytail. Um, I guess to be a more serious She-Hulk, you know, to kind of capture the attorney, the attorney thing, this isn't a bad one. I always did prefer her to be a little bit more jolly, a little bit more fun-loving, but this is one aspect of her personality, certainly. Uh, the hair is sculpted nicely. They did decide to just skip on the highlights, which, because this is the same base green as this one, I'm glad they did. This is a much better choice. But very, very nice figure. Now, along with uh, the She-Hulk here, she did come with her jacket and skirt for making appearances in court. As well as an extra set of hands. And a pair of high heels. Now what I'm going to do is I'm going to go ahead and pause it just for a moment. We'll go ahead and uh, and get her dressed for court and see how she looks. Be right back again. Well, we're back and we have Jennifer in her lawyer clothes, sporting her glasses, which look terrible. <laughs> go ahead and take those off. Um, I'm not usually a big fan of... Uh, a fabric on an action figure. But this has grown on me. I've just been kind of looking at it over the past few minutes. And it's actually not too bad. I mean, yeah, it does look a little bulky on the top and the shoulders. But for the most part, eh, it's creative. I like it. You can see she's got now the high heels and the ungloved hands. Sculpted to hold her briefcase, which does actually have a substantial peg. It opens up so you can put files or odds and ends in there. But again, a really great figure if you had gone to the 2007 SDCC uh, and, uh, and was looking for you know exclusives. Not really a bad one at all. Quite a nice one. I love the kind of the brass buttons on the sleeves and on the front. It's 
really nice. But overall, a very fine figure. And a great way to wrap up a Triple Feature Friday. So, I thank you all for watching. Rate, comment, subscribe, join the revolution, and we'll see you soon. Bye-bye.